saw me at home, I'm not cool at all. I'm just like this little dweeb who hangs out in their room and watches horror movies. And then like going from that to having people want to take pictures of me. I mean, it's cool, but it's not, never anything I expected for myself. I'm just so dorky and I don't, I'm not cool to me. there's been a growth I can tell there's been a change in me like even the fact that I've been able to come out here it's, it's really hard being an internet musician because my dad doesn't understand SoundCloud like oh you got 20,000 plays today he doesn't know what that is so it doesn't seem real to him and like the night before I left he was kind of like wow you're leaving for London like that's really big Oh snap, this is it. Wait, this has to be it. I think this is it. Hi, I'm Abra and we're in Tooting and I'm at my old, old primary school. Uh, Selling Court Primary School and we're here visiting my past. <laughs> so my parents um, were doing missionary work in Kerala, which is like South India. And um, they, my mom was pregnant with me and she didn't want to have the baby in India so she came to the States, had me, and then we came to uh, London to finish up the missionary work. So the church, Highland Church out of New York, funded um, a missionary trip here for my father to build a church in London. My dad was the pastor of it. And uh, this is where I learned to sing. My mom did praise and worship in the band here. Um, she played the guitar and uh, she had me sing on stage. Um, yeah, so this is where I first started to get into like singing. I wouldn't go to the bathroom at school, so my mom walked me home every time I had to go to the bathroom. Like, come get me and take me home. So I wouldn't go to the bathroom. Duchess. I've always had like this deep sense of non-belonging. So it was just kind of strange in a good way to come back. Um, but there was like a lot of what ifs. Like, what if I had stayed and been able to like make lifelong friends and people have known me since I was little that I chose, you know? Um, but it was nice. It was nice to be back. It's really nice to be able to like prove to my family this is real. I'm not trying to win, baby. I quit. This just left me there. I'm not making something that fulfills my taste, then I get really frustrated and you I want to quit, but like you just gotta keep faring forward and put one foot in front of the other and your taste will drive you to where you wanna go. So really I get the most rush from like when I impress myself, when I one up myself, when I do better than like the last thing I did, you know, and I can when I can see progress within my own production, I get really, really excited. <laughs> Seventy-five Trevi Line Road it was the first block from the high road. Yeah, second to last house on the left side. I'm pretty sure this is the house right here. My little England house. MTV Cribs. I remember music here for the first time. I remember like all those lullabies are from here. Like a lot of the music that is a part of my, I don't know, my root music. I don't know how to explain it. Music that always sticks with me forever. I learned while I was here. Yeah, it would be nice to move back, I think.
who and who I am on stage a little bit better. And that's always a growing process. That doesn't stop. I do find it really bizarre that people want, you know, want me for like fashion editorial spreads or like, like this fashion girl and they want to take pictures of me and like want to do it like this, like a mini doc on me. And I'm just like, last year I had 500 followers on SoundCloud. I was sitting in my closet with my computer on my dirty clothes hamper recording like this bootleg beat. Life is different now. Life is really different. It's a beat.